Hello everyone, it's me Woga here with another uh, Dokkan video, and this time Zenrot's here. Hello, I play this game now too. You play this game now too. Is it that rough over at Legends Land? It's pretty rough, man. All right, it's pretty bad. That's fair. Uh, well, today, well, today's video is that we're just gonna be talking about some Dokkan, but also I'm going to be grinding up LR Vegeta because I still need to do this shit. Because I need stones to get to um, to do the final of my um, LR push so I can get those final LRs. Oh, you're guaranteed LR. Yes, exactly. So, I don't know. Let's talk about some Dokkan. Let's talk about... Uh... Here's the funny thing. A bunch of news came out of Dokkan because it's Goku Day. Happy Goku Day, everyone. Is it Goku Day, by the way? I think it's Goku Day and Piccolo Day. Okay, so, so how come Piccolo doesn't get as much love as Goku? Because Goku Day is like a Japanese thing, where it's like the Japanese Goku. Is how you pronounce five nine? Oh, okay. I thought Piccolo that's... Day is because literally in Dragon Ball, Piccolo says, "Hey, from now on, May 9th is going to be Piccolo Day." <laughs> that's pretty good. I think that's even better because Piccolo rarely asks for anything. Here are the things that Piccolo has asked for in Dragon Ball. Uh, I wish Goku was dead, which he accomplished. He got that, and let this day be Piccolo Day. <laughs> he needed that's all he needed he was a he's a plant man then that's all he really needed in life also this uh i forgot that my um super warriors goku uh, is not fully duped out so he's not able to one shot this vegeta which is a shame i for some reason i completely fell off the bad wagon even though around april fools for dokkan for in terms of my personal headspace um but yeah it's uh it yeah, it happens. For every god, I want to say that's happened to me with every single gacha game. The only gacha game that that did not happen to is, of course, or collection. May it forever rest in peace as it slowly dies <laughs> right in front of me. I'd help us, or collection. Exactly. Uh, the, but the main thing I saw was that never there was never forget you. Never forget. Uh, was that a bunch of news came out and it reminded me of the old days back when we had to actually report the news on Modcast. Oh, oh, back when we actually talked about it? Yeah, back when we actually talked about Dokkan, and I just remembered, like, God, isn't it great that we don't have to do that anymore? Yeah, I don't really give a shit about the news. Like, I just like characters that look cool to me. Yeah, and it's uh, and, and, and it, for me, it's like, as someone who actually does kind of care what Dokkan's doing, it's more the idea of, like, having to, like, piece together... Here's everything that's happening currently in Japan, and then I have to wait for translations. And then every time we did a uh, modcast, uh, it was always uh, released three days later where new info came out. So it immediately became invalidated. Yeah, that does happen. <laughs> Go back to the old modcast and I'm take it. Doing it. Yeah. Cool. Because everyone else who does the news just sees the news, and they go, oh, okay, let me flick my. Yeah. And scroll down the Twitter page and repeat what's on the Twitter page. And then everything's Talk good. about it on a set schedule, it doesn't work out. No. And then the funny thing is, is that especially for, because uh, again, for in terms of who I go to for my Dokkan news, I always go to uh, D Free. Follow D Free at <laughs> D Free's YouTube channel that I forget the name of. <laughs> but by the end of, uh, but but by the end of the day, his voice was gone because <laughs> he kept recording Dokkan news. <laughs> So it would start all chipper, like, oh, it's me, D-Free, and then by the end of it, it was like, Hello, everyone, it's me, D-Free, here. <laughs> I'm back with some more Dokkan news. And, and I always looked at it and go, like, God, that that really does suck of, like, I have to keep an eye on Dokkan and see when the news is coming out and then get that shit to all the people out there as quickly as possible. And he always ends it. But yeah, that's what you gotta do. And one time he literally woke up uh, because just to show you my nighttime schedule, he had already recorded the videos at 2 p.m. <laughs> because that's when the news dropped. <laughs> so he he was up awake at 2 p.m., dropped the news, and was like, "Sorry if I get anything wrong. I'm <laughs> I just woke up <laughs> to do this." And it's like, God damn, dude, it's hard. Who knew being a Dokkan YouTuber who has to actually pay attention to the game would be so tough? the struggle it is and then at the end of the day you have to always look down and go like was this really worth it for dokkan <laughs> was it 
And I guess it is, because that's how they make their livelihood. Not to shit on anyone's livelihood, because that's not what this is about. <laughs> let me just do a quick... Uh, uh, re- anyway. Let me do a quick retraction, just so I don't burn any bridges. I respect all the work they do. It's just something that I could never do. That's the same reason why I can never, uh... I can never, uh, wail like they do. Because that would require, uh... Keeping up with such, a, a, keeping up with Dokkan in such a consistent basis that you make the money back on that stuff. You know what I mean? Yeah, where you break even. Yes, that's the part where it's like, oh man, I have to make sure that I have the exact even point to where all this works out. Because <laughs> if I don't, or something fucks up, it's like all gone. And then this is also something funny because a lot of I, I've so in terms of people wondering how good am I at YouTube, I don't know anything about it. I very very I barely even do marketing for myself, unless you count uh, collabs with friends as marketing. Uh, but I was watching I think D3 did a One Piece summon video, and during it he said, "YouTube really doesn't like it when you try and do um, different things on a channel. They want to keep you as one specific thing." And when he said that, I looked at my channel and went. <laughs> Oh, that explains a lot. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the the algorithm is an asshole, is yeah. the, the moral of the story. Exactly. So you have to actively, like, fight to get the people to watch other peop- uh, to watch your other stuff, which is what we did for Captain Tsubasa, which, again, thanks to everyone out there who uh, watched the Captain Tsubasa videos. <laughs> Still surprised to this day that that actually worked out. <laughs> It's all about respecting the the soccer hero. Exactly, the hero of soccer, Captain Subasa. Uh, Edward James almost is finally able to retire from acting. Uh, one of the one of the com- a lot of the comments in that video are a lot of goodbyes to the Captain Subasa series, which I think is very funny and also very heartwarming. <laughs> As they say goodbye to a series that they actually enjoyed. But one of the comments was, "How come there was never a Captain Subasa presents a uh, fake Grand Order?" And I was like, "It was planned." We just, you guys watched all the videos before I could get there. Yeah, we, you broke the, you hit the goal. There was no longer a need to shill Captain Tsubasa. Exactly. Fake Grand Order can sleep for another day. And we'll save that for another day. Oh, God damn it! I hate when it drops just to, like, can you be not an asshole about this grind? The legendary grind that is grind to get one of these fucking legendary characters that I will never use. Yeah, I'm getting medals right now for LR, Khalifa, and Kale, and boy, this fucking sucks. It sucks so hard. I cannot believe we live... Can we? Okay, so this is also a good time, because we're never going to have time to talk about this on 2B released, because no one has asked us a question about this. This fucking um, bonus to your drops fucking sucks ass. I can't yeah. believe... The, the fact that it's on 8 hour delay when it's something that already uses your stamina, which the only reason that this thing should be implemented is if, is if there was stamina tickets, but there is no stamina tickets in uh, Dokkan at all. So why the fuck does it exist? It's really bullshit that Dokkan has no method to recover your stamina other than stones. No, and also it should, I still should mention this is also extremely important. When you level up, you lose that stamina. It, it does not roll over. No, it's still the only gacha game that does that. And I don't understand why, because I could have swore at early times it didn't do that, and now it does. Or maybe I'm just misremembering uh, the old times. It's possible. Yeah. For every, like, new implement that Dokkan has, it always reminds me of, like, there's just so much more to build. You guys need to go way faster with this. I just don't have the capacity to be like all right come on i guess you're doing your best here but i expect better from from you guys and uh and if you say that out loud people will say you're being too hard on dokkan which i feel it's weird how like this in the that interesting chat discussion we had the other day Mm -hmm. but the fan bases for dragon ball gacha games are really weird they are extremely weird and i don't understand at some point when certain changes happen but i don't they are so defensive for dokkan dokkan has such a lasting impact that legends was built out of the hatred of dokkan and then it slowly started to turn into dokkan yeah pretty much 
all of the fucking, I guess just bases in general. Mm -hmm. Is that Dokkan, I say as I'm playing it right now. Yeah. Uh, as we both are playing and grinding it out. You get a lonely orangutan Dokkan just as good as like the greatest Dokkan player in the world. Whoever that is. It's not an exceptionally uh, old game to click the same color. Sure is colored. Yeah. To play Dokkan, get really fucking pissed if you bring that up. And then Legends people, like a fighting game or anything, but you actually have to pay attention to the screen and like react to things that are on it. Yeah. Anyway. Is not like an autoplay game. Again, people get really pissed off, and I don't get it. It, it. It's something where it's like I don't know where at some point people started taking this so, I guess not seriously, but just take it to such weird vitriols. Like I think I've recently coming to the fact that apparently this is something I don't, I never knew existed. But there is a mode in Dokkan where people are specifically making it harder for themselves. And oh yeah, the whatever it is. Ah, fuck. What's it called? I want to say it's called, it's called Dokkan uh, Souls or something. I, want, I always thought it was called Dokkan Souls or something because you can't oh, say. Oh maybe. Yeah. Yeah. But the idea of just trying to make Dokkan harder for for whatever reason is that you look at Dokkan and you go like, no, I need to personally make this harder, and then complain when a unit doesn't work out in your fake bullshit mode. <laughs> it makes it be like, well, first of all. <laughs> this entire thing you're saying where tech vegeta uh, tech super saiyan blue uh vegeto isn't good because it doesn't work in this stupid ass mode that you made yourself because you didn't think dokkan was hard enough it shouldn't actually be pertinent in your to anything. fake mode that doesn't actually exist no dokkan is the game that you're playing currently and you can say that it's too easy that's fair but then you can't start judging units based off a of fake mode yeah yeah and it's, I don't know, dude, it's something that, I, I've started to realize that maybe Dokkan has gotten bigger and weirder than I ever thought. It's not the same tiny game that I found random, that I listened to someone on Giant Bomb say, yo, there's this uh, gacha game for uh, Dragon Ball and it's called uh, Dokkan Battle. And it was back when it was released on Global. And, you should, and I was like, I don't know if this is good, but I am playing it and Goku screams. And I was like, that's enough. And so I decided to check it out. And since then, it's been a... That's... I guess what I'm trying to say is it's different from that specific point in time. <laughs> from before everything yeah, it, was established. Is that anymore? No, it really isn't. Dokkan has gotten bigger and weirder and, like... It's gotten to the point of, like, do you even remember the old days back when a unit was based off of, like... Which I'll say, again, is, I guess, the pre-math era before people actually figured out the calculations in Dokkan. <laughs> Back when it was like, Dokkan era? yeah, back when people were like, well, this unit specifically, there were there was actually a case for Super Saiyan God versus Super Saiyan God, even though both of them <laughs> did the exact same, had the exact same passive. I well, was remember like, when uh, SR Super Saiyan Goten and Trunks came out, and people were so excited because that meant you could run all Super Saiyans now. <laughs> Yes. Do you remember when uh, SR Bardock was actually a big thing because it was an SR Super Saiyan? The Bardock? Yeah, uh, I want to say SR Bardock was one of the first um, SR... Um... I thought that was Goten and Trunks. I could have swore it was... Gohan. Uh... You're thinking of Goku Gi Gohan. Am I? I thought it was the SR Bardock that has like that weird pose. You know what I'm talking about? It's well, the agility hand one. Is out yeah, him. yeah. I thought that was one of the first... Uh, no, actually, it's not, because he had prepared for battle. That was the thing he had. Right. right. So that's no, the saying. big deal ones at first were Goten and Trunks, because they were SRs in the gacha. And then the Goku, Gi, Gohan... All Super Saiyan. Mm -hmm. Big fucking deal. It was, yeah. And it's crazy to think that was a big fucking deal at the time. And if you want to say the ultimate form of power creep is the fact that on day five, on Goten's day, you get an R Goten, and then that's the only R you ever get from uh, rewards. Because when they, 
Because when they gave made that reward specifically, our Goten was the only Goten in the game. Yep. And so when it came time for Piccolo Day, they were like, here's an SSR Piccolo. So here you go. They at least figured out that much, but Dokkan has changed. And Dokkan is going to continue changing. And then we're just going to sit over here and we're just going to talk shit about Dokkan until the day Dokkan dies. <laughs> or one of us dies, so whatever I'm here happens. For, man. Or, I mean, yeah. Uh, just enjoy the ride while you can. And with that, that's enough grinding up on uh, this Vegeta. So we'll say thank you everyone for watching us just kind of talk about Dokkan while we grind. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Yeah. That's actually the. I was gonna say that should be. Ah, oh, damn. I gotta stop making the fucking video series names. I love doing it so much. <laughs> I was gonna you say. Make the name first, and then you're like, what series can I do? Yeah, exactly. That's, that's kind of how I choose to play. <laughs> I, I choose to do things. But it's so much more fun when it's like a series of like, oh yeah, we're just grinding. So people will watch because they understand that we're just grinding. <laughs> So I don't have to make the excuse of like, oh, here's a here's a theme. It's all Gotens versus Goku Black because Gotens Goku Black. Haha, <laughs> everyone. <laughs> Instead, I can go, okay, I need to fucking grind this guy. Can we just kind of pretend <laughs> like can we drop the pretense of like this is actually a team that I thought of? <laughs> can we understand the fact that I want to spend some time with you guys and then also I need to grind Dokkan because that's actually what you do in Dokkan? And endlessly, yeah. I'm the only Dokkan tuber that's willing to go out there and say, "This is actually what you do in Dokkan." <laughs> this is the reality of Dokkan. Wake up, <laughs> sheeple! <laughs> All right, uh, that's enough fucking rant. Don't take anything I said seriously. Goodbye, everyone, and remember, don't play Dokkan. Goodbye. Important lesson. <laughs> <laughs>